Hello, my fellow guardians. This is Malucha, and welcome back to Destiny 2 here in Season of the Deep. I'm here at the Ironwood Tree in the Tower because we did get a reset on our journey, and that is exactly what I want to take a look at. So I start off at rank seven, elite apparently, uh, but here's it says that I kind of need to do stuff from level six, veteran. I don't really get why it says lead seven current uh, the, the current rank was the rank i obtained in the previous season i think yeah i didn't really get all that far if you want to know why that i didn't play a lot in the previous season you kind of have to watch my first video but yeah we are gonna take a look at what we actually need so we have the first uh, light file so first contact uh mission that you actually need to do and point of contact so meet the destination vendor on Neptune. Uh, it's basically destination vendor maps. Pretty easy. We got seasonal journey. Uh, so season rank. Increase your season rank with seven levels. Is what you're going to need to do. And seasonal challenges. Complete seasonal challenges from the current season. Seasonal ch challenges grant XP. Seasonal vendor upgrades. Currencies, bright dust and other rewards. So you're going to need to uh, basically do four challenges. To get this done. And then sonar station reputation increase your reputation level with the seasonal 21 vendor found in the helm so for the next episode we're basically gonna take a look at the well the quest line for this the follow-up quest line for this season uh where it goes because that's where we basically left off with the opening quest and it's the new vendor so we're gonna need to have vendor rank ups there as well there's 21 levels no, there's no this it's season 21 <laughs> holy crap uh basically we need to level up uh, on the vendors guys seasonal artifact obtain a current seasonal artifact so definitely gonna need to obtain that one i presume it's gonna be in the next mission as well seasonal artifact perks so activate perks from your seasonal artifact and artifact power bonus for the seasonal artifact so we're gonna need to have three bonuses meaning we're gonna need to do some side quests and then well basically a load of stuff just play the game to upgrade your season uh, artifacts gear progression modify armor so equip slots uh, slot specific mods on armor head mod arm mod chest mod leg mods we got armor energy increase the energy level of a piece of armor so energy increased by two levels masterwork a weapon so increase the masterwork level of a weapon grants increased of the value of specific stats fully mastering Masterwork and it grants additional bonuses. So you're gonna need to masterwork two weapons if you already have two weapons masterworked. If you play it a little longer than one month, you should be able to have at least two weapons masterworked. And enhanced materials acquire enhancement prisms. Enhancement prisms can be obtained through various methods, including the following: reputation rank, season pass, nightfall, and Rahul's material exchange. So we'll take a look at that in a second if you just started playing uh, we'll take a look at how you can get this one easily done as well power you need to hit the soft cap of 1750 and then vendor challenges complete weekly vendor challenges to acquire powerful rewards so basically i've done this one as well powerful rewards increase your power level beyond the soft cap they are typically granted via weekly vendor challenges which appear as blue glyphs on the destination screen. So if you go to the destination screen, it's these blues, guys. So you can see here, powerful gear tier one. You basically need to do two of these challenges that these NPCs give. And then basically, well, it's basically, what do we need? Commendations given five for, um, for this one. And then five, eight bounties done, eight bounties done, and eight bounties done. And those are the ones we can get in the tower, right? So there is more of those if you're interested in looking for them. And let's continue with... Oh, here we go. A little... So, soft cap, vendor challenges. Check. Trials. Trials introduction. Talk to Saint-14 to learn about Trials of Osiris. Done that. Saint-14 can be found in the tower in the hangar. If you look at the map for the hangar... Eight fourteen is here on the right, so you basically go out, round, about, and then in the hangar you can find him. Apparently, you need to talk to him, and then you are done. And yeah, they did talk about the seasonal challenges. So season twenty-one comes with new challenges. Season of the deep, of course, 
And for week one, we've got Into the Deep 1 complete week one Into the Depth mission, which I still need to do. Frontline Salvager, complete salvage or deep dive activities while using Arc or Strand subclass. Additionally, defeat Fallen anywhere in the system. So we're going to need to do three seasonal activities and defeat 50 Fallen. Successful Salvager, successfully completed jobs in salvage activities. So apparently there's jobs that we're gonna need to do now okay the one that didn't get away catch a fish at any fish pond additionally complete public events on any destiny wait what there's a fishing activity now in destiny 2 we're gonna have to check that out guys edz activities uh earn progress by completing bounties patrols public events lost sector taking all challenges complete weekly playlist challenges so, playlist challenge, weekly playlist challenge. That's gonna be the pinnacles that you can do for basically anything in the game. So, if we go to destinations, and then we got Vanguard, and we look here. So, we got weekly challenges, right? That we can do. In Nightfall, let's earn points by completing Nightfalls. And then we still have pinnacles in the gear for those who didn't get the pinnacle cap. Uh, pinnacle cap basically is now stable across the year. So, usually well the last three years as i remember it every season had like an increase in pinnacle cap and every week you needed to go after those pinnacles to raise your pinnacle cap so you are actually at the most powerful level that you could be at that has changed basically the only increase in power level that we get is by the big expansions that we get every year and then during the entire year you no longer need to hunt those pinnacles they still are useful because if you have weapons that are not upgraded to pinnacle cap yet you can basically use those pinnacles to upgrade pieces of armor that you're going to use or other weapons that you're going to use to actually put them at the pinnacle cap as well. And then weekly complete Vanguard playlist. We've got that here for the Vanguard. If you look back, we've got the same for Gambit, of course. Uh, matches complete, three. And we've got Crucible. So a bunch of matches complete that you can do in any activity that you want. So, yeah, there we go. That's that. So, let's take a look on. So, taking challenges. Uh, 0%. So, I'm not real sure how many you're going to need to do to complete it. We got Spark Defender Score Points and Rift. Bonus Progress Award for Igniting the Rift. So, for the challenges, guys, just go into Rift. You're going to need to do it for the seasonal challenges anyway for this week. So, if you do P PvP, just try to get Rift uh, activated. And apparently 50 points is what you need. Standard issue, defeat targets in gambits with primary ammo. So challenges and in gambits, apparently. And then fallen, defeat fallen combats in Vanguard. So yeah, taking your challenges will be really easy as you're going to need to do PvP. You're going to need to do gambits and you're going to need to do Vanguard ops for this. And it's going to be fallen that you're going to need to defeat. And then calibrate close range. Uh, I usually do these, so we need to cl calibrate close range with sidearms, submachine guns, shotguns, glaives, and swords. Uh, bonus progress for defeating guardians, so we can do it in PvP. I usually do them in the uh, area where we need to do the activities. So this time it's in the EZZ. What I'm gonna do is bring out submachine gun and a shotgun, I think. And then a sword in the last slot. So basically I try to take like all the de weapons that they state here in each slot that basically whatever weapon i use that i have equipped it will work towards this and then basically yeah you do the activity i do the activities on the location they say in the weekly challenges now we also have seasonal bonuses here so that is definitely something new uh deep challenger complete week one and we get rewards deep challenger not really sure deep weapon focusing deep attraction forgotten treasure deep sea locksmith deep deep armor focusing so by doing the challenge usually i think this has changed as well usually we go to the like the vendor of the season and then in the vendor, we basically got like a tier of uh, unlocks that we can get. Like you, ne you need to play weekly and then every week you can unlock one or two things. Right? Like you can unlock the first, this one and this one in week one. And the next one you can unlock two more. And you can specifically pick like, okay, I want to go for the top line or the bottom line or the middle line. And unlock these two. Now they're actually behind challenges. 
So if you say that you want to have weapon focusing early in the game, then basically what they say is obtain six season of the deep or reprised reckoning weapons to unlock the following seasonal bonus. So you can actually go for again catch fish. What the? We're gonna need to take a look at that fishing, deep side salvaging. We got deep uh, deep station, deep sea locksmith. Defeat each unique boss in deep dive activities to unlock the following seasonal bonus. When you redeem a salvage key, you have a chance to earn a deep dive key. Deep sea locksmith. So there's gonna be chests in the deep sea that we need keys for. And by getting this one, uh, getting doing this, deep sea locksmith, by unlocking this, we actually... It, it's It's kind of strange, but... Yeah, basically how you advance in the different things you can uh, get bonuses for. You basically don't need to wait anymore every week. Like week on week on week. You can basically do all of the bonuses in one week. Uh, well, it's probable that like for this one we need to defeat three different bosses. It's probable that all not all bosses are going to be spawned in the first week. So we're still going to need to wait three weeks before we can get our hands on every boss. I'm not really sure. They may be locked behind the six six man activity and you might have a chance to actually do all of them in the same week but this is definitely definitely interesting and then past challenges um season of defiance apparently oh well, it's done for me pretty good there but they're talking about fishing guys gills acquired complete all season of the deeps challenge large bright dust bell i'm gonna go check out where we can fish so before we go check out where we can fish, uh, I talked about how to get your hands Back on these Darcy. upgrades. So Rahul's secret stash, experimental pattern uh, ghost shell. We get two ascended alloy. Ascended shards are full. We get an exotic cypher. And upgrade modules are full as well. Pretty nice. We got material exchange. So let's take a look. So if you want to have the enhancement prisms, it's basically 10 enhancement cores and glimmer and or 400 legendary shards now i do have to say you usually do not buy them from here this one i'm gonna buy though that's always interesting to have more ascended charge usually just play vanguard ops like the nightfall and in nightfall they can drop like they drop pretty standardly in nightfall if you play even if you play hero so spending Spending currency to buy other currency is kind of a waste of currency, if you ask me. If you have, like, way too many enhancement prisms, like you see that I have 200, I think the cap is 200. Well, basically, well, I'm not really sure. Maybe the cap is higher for enhancement cores. I'm not really sure, but, like, you can spend some money to actually buy them. But if you play Nightfalls, they're pretty easy to obtain. Remain vigilant. Holy crap. What the hell? So yeah, I thought the easiest way to find this fishing spot was in going in the EDZ because the EDC has like a really long coastline. And I basically started winning Cove and just drove down the coastline to see if I could find one of these spots. And here we go. Fishing tackle required. Focused fishing. So it probably is gonna be. It probably is going to be something that we can pick up from the seasonal from the seasonal quests, right? It's going to be something like that. So we're going to have to find out where we can actually get our hands on these tackles. And yeah, one of the spots if you want to looking forward to where you can fish. <laughs> They're actually fishing with a sword. That is, that is pretty cool. That is pretty cool. <laughs> that is really, really funny. Anyway, guys, I'm going to wrap up my video here. Uh, if you want to see, well, basically, if you want to see anything uh, of Destiny 2 or progress that I make or the quests I'm going to run or eventually I'm going to get my hands on a fishing pole and I'm going to start fishing. Or you, if you want to see anything about the other games that I want to play or I'm going to play on my channel, just hit that subscribe button, guys. It would always help out a lot. I do hope you enjoyed this episode. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.